I'm here with Phil Bartosh, Cuyahoga County uh, Bee Inspector, and this is Rick Moran's owner of Cleveland Bee Removal, and we're going to be treating for varroa mite using oxalic acid. This is 99.8 uh, pure region grade oxalic acid. Uh, do not use Barkeeper's Friend, which is a wood bleach, because it does have surfactant and some other chemicals in it. You want to use the pure stuff you can get, and this is it. Basically, the treatment for a hive uh, is approximately uh, a third of a teaspoon. You can see it's a pretty, it's a pretty fine powder. The thing is, when they, uh, when you buy Bartender's Friend. Some of the ingredients that are in that, other than a surfactant, is an anti-caking agent. So this stuff does kind of cake a little bit on you. Here's the, the tool. Basically, it's uh, just a heat rod that uh, attaches to a 12-volt battery. The batteries are fairly cheap. You can get them at your, uh, say, Walmart. Uh, this one was only $10. So it wasn't, well, it's not on. So we're waiting for that to heat up a little bit and start smoking before we stick it in the hive. How long does that take inside the hive, Phil? Uh, we want to do it for two, two and a half minutes. Uh, it should all be gone and we want to wait another minute afterwards, so about three and a half minutes per hive. Also, for monitoring purposes, I cleaned off this slide out. I have a screen bottom board in. There it goes. There it goes. You definitely don't want to breathe this stuff in. I guess I should have, uh, should have timed this, but... I got it on here. Only about 10 seconds right now. It's the only second time that uh, we've used this. We're gonna have to. I'm gonna make some modifications just to make it easier on me, other than just standing. There. You can start. To, you can start to see. It I can see it smoking. You can see the smoke coming out of the hive. Fumes from the oxalic acid. And make sure you don't breathe them in. Ooh. The bees are getting a little bit uh, feisty. They're coming out to see who's out here. Trust your bees, Rick. And that's all there is to it. Wait a few minutes and you can pull that out and there won't be any uh, oxalic acid left in the little tray. And we'll come back at a different later date and see how it's done on that uh, slide out. That's all for now. Rick Moran's Cleveland Beekeepers Association member.